This neighbourhood has been our home for three years. From a very young age, sports has provided us with freedom. I'm Nabi, and this is my brother's story. Ibrahim Diallo, or as we effectively know him, Ibs, is one of our male football players who's been in our programme for three years. Ibrahim has got a strong character, hardworking. He's determined to improve and he is, he's a very good listener. And although we don't always agree on certain things, he, um, he certainly looks to take on as much as he can from those with experience around him. I think Ibs, his name and sort of the, the brand that he's creating for himself, like the aura he's creating for himself, represents like real hard work and honesty. Um, where he's come from with his uh, football probably over the past year, but also previously to that, his time at the two or three years he spent at the college, he's built up like a real persona for himself. Uh, he's an honest kid, he works real hard in the gym and on the, on the pitch. And other people respect him for that around the college as well. Even from a young age, Ibs' footballing talent was evident. First of all, his technical ability is is um, one of his major assets. He's he's he's, he's got great close control. Um, another part of his game, he's got great vision, and you must have that as a football player. He he's, he actually sees things that other players don't see. He's he's got pace. He's got power. Um, he's got a fantastic left foot, but he, he plays with such poise and balance. You know, he, he plays like a pro. As a player, I obviously saw that he had ability to play, um, and ob obviously I'd um, made some inquiries as to what his football background was, and he played at a good level. He'd been at uh, Bristol City as a youth player in the academy, and uh, also he had uh, played for English colleges. So obviously I, 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 I knew that he was going to be a decent footballer. As kids, Ignorance led us to make fun of Eves' running and walking style. However, it was a lot deeper than that. We knew something wasn't quite right, but we didn't know to what extent. Uh, we, we always knew that um, uh, Ibs had um, an issue, um, certainly with his running style. We, we, we put it down initially to uh, just an unorthodox gait, an unorthodox striding pattern. Um, it wasn't until um, Ibs had attended um, uh, a weekend with the England College's national squad that um, it came to light that potentially he could uh, could be a cerebral palsy sufferer. When they told us that Ibrahim has a CP, I was very surprised, but in the end I took it in a positive way. After several weeks I just took it on the chin and just went along with life. Shockingly, the condition had gone undiagnosed for 19 years. Cerebral palsy affects posture, movement, as well as coordination. So if I just show you if I can. Um, so if we look at Ibs' uh, reflexes in the leg. Ibs, can you clasp your hands like that for me? Um, so if we show normal reflexes in Ibs' leg here on his left side. So it just kicks out nice and normally. Whereas actually if we show you on his affected side, there is no reflex on that side. Okay, so that that's normal for Ibs, but obviously in terms of a neural condition, that shows that there is something going on um, with his, Ibs's neural um, system, his neuromuscular system. And the last one we can do is called a Babinski test. So if I, uh, again, this looks at the spasticity um, element of the, um, the condition. So if I were to quite quickly just push Ibs's foot up, there's no recoil there on Ibs's on Ibs's left side, whereas actually if we do it with his other foot, I can feel, I'm not sure if that's transmitted to the camera, but I can feel a lot of stiffness there as we do that with Ibs's foot. You can feel that there's a little bit of a kickback and recoil. Yeah, so that's basically how we, we would have a look at him. Despite the setback, an unexpected gate opened. Eves was invited to train with the England and Great Britain CP squad in February 2012. Um, just before the uh, Paralympic World Cup in Manchester, that's when uh, Eves got, got involved. 
and like I said we were fortunate that he was able to contribute towards us getting to the final in that competition and then uh, afterwards our efforts in uh, the London 2012 Paralympics. That was my tournament pretty much. Tore it apart. This is where you made a name for yourself, huh? I'm joking. No, it was alright. It was a good tournament actually. Did really, we did really well. We came second. You know, the prospect of 2012 uh, in London, I think, was the, the carrot on the stick as well for him, that he was, you know, going to represent GB. As kids, we dreamt of playing on TV in front of sold-out stadiums. Ebes made it a reality. It's a sound they're going to need to get used to. Sold out venues. Sold out tickets. First time in Paralympic history. Don't really remember the Paralympics. It didn't How many too goals well. did you score? Three. Wasn't you three goals? Yeah, I didn't score that many actually. Actually, it was about four. Four. Wasn't you looking to be one of the top goal scorers for Great Britain? Yeah, I was going to. Well, for, I was for Great Britain. But I wasn't in the whole tournament, which was quite gutting. So and where did we were the great run on that? I think the seventh. Seventh. Man, we didn't have a great tournament, mate. Don't ask yeah, about no, it. No, no, no. Don't <coughs> talk about it. I was watching plenty of. Um, <laughs> Eves's exploits at 2012 did not go unnoticed. He was invited to the South Gloucestershire Sports Awards in November 2012. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the South Gloucestershire Annual Sports Awards, sponsored by Airbus in the UK and the Active Partnerships. He was nominated for Sportsman of the Year and for the Personal Achievement of the Year Awards. This is no mean feat and shows the extreme dedication and hard work, as well as his will to succeed. This is a young man who is inspirational to us all. This is a worthy winner of this award and our winner of the Personal Achievements Award sponsored by the Active Partnership is Ibra Ibrahim Ed Diaz. The best piece of advice that I'd like to give Ibs is to keep his feet on the ground. He's had a great year, he's had a good introduction to Cerebral Paul's international football. He's made a significant impact. What I want him to do is to continue to make that impact and continue to set a good example to the rest of the players in the squad. And one of the ways he can do that is by turning up on time. When you look at young kids who are in school and they see that a player of, of Ibs quality and that, that they then aspire to that and they don't mind that people know they've got a disability. I think that's the real benefit of the story of, 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 of Ibs. In one sentence is yeah. <laughs> one word, incredible. Um, I think if anybody had said to me, or I'd read a book where this had happened to somebody, I probably wouldn't have believed it. Ibs's story is absolutely, is, is awe-inspiring and, and fantastic. I think certainly that um, from a Paralympic perspective, um, he could become one of the most, or one of the best players that um, has ever played for the GB Paralympic team. Ebes, you've had a roller coaster year, successful or not. I will always be proud of you. An absolute disgrace. What? I'm just talking about you being an inspiration to the players, and you turn up when you like. No, I've yeah. got to You're coming in, you've got the four. biggest turn ups on the jeans I've ever seen. <laughs> 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 no, good, good. Come on. Let's 
Sol, baby. Yeah.